mathematicians, this is the video for Home Connections 51 and 52. On Tuesday, David and three friends shared a large pizza for an after-school treat. Each of the four boys ate the same amount of pizza. On Thursday, David shared two large pizzas with seven friends from his soccer team. Each of the eight team members got equal amounts. So number one says, use the circles below to draw labeled models of how much pizza David got to eat on both days. So on Tuesday, there are four people. So Tuesday's pizza would be split into fourths. Each boy or girl gets one fourth of a pizza. On Thursday, David shared two large pizza pizzas with him and seven friends. So that's eight team members. You could also split it into fourths. And each kid gets one fourth of one pizza. And I'm going to show you another way you could split Thursday's pizza up in just one second. It says, Number two, what fraction of a large pizza did David eat on Tuesday? Well, on Tuesday, he ate one-fourth of a pizza. And on Thursday, he also ate one-fourth of a pizza. So did he eat more on Tuesday or on Thursday? He ate the same. Now, I'm wondering if on Thursday, instead of splitting the pizza into fourths, it's also possible that the kids would have split the pizza into eighths and then each boy would have gotten two pieces so imagine instead of splitting it into fourths and saying each boy got a fourth of a pizza you also could split each pizza into eighths and each boy or each girl would get two eighths of a pizza so one fourth is also the same as two eighths so if you said on Thursday he ate one-fourth of pizza, or if you said two-eighths of a pizza, that's the same amount. Um, number five, we're going to skip on to the back. Number six, write a story problem to match each of the equations below. Obviously, everyone's story problem could be different. But the only thing I want you to notice is the answer and how they showed the remainder. Notice the example shows the remainder as a remainder. So those would be things that you couldn't split up. Like in this particular one, they were talking about playground balls. Yes, I suppose you could take a saw and slice one in half, but it really wouldn't be very useful after that. So they showed it as a remainder because you're not going to split a ball in half. Letter A, the first one that we need to do, shows the remainder with a fraction, which makes me think that whatever our leftover is, we will be able to split it up into pieces, which always makes me think food, cookies or cake or something. So an example, and your example does not need to be just like this. I'm going to say there are 13 cookies for four kids. to share. How many cookies does each kid get? So I would think 13 divided by 4. Well, 4 times 3 is 12, so each kid gets three cookies and there's one cookie left over. One cookie divided between those four kids means each kid gets an additional one-fourth of a cookie. So when you see a remainder turned to a fraction, that makes me think that we're probably talking about something that you can split up into pieces. Letter B, notice that the answer is written uh, like money. So obviously our um, problem needs to um, have money included. So maybe we could say a present for Mrs. Jetson. 
although you know just being a lovely student is the only present I ever need. A present for Mrs. Judson is $13. Four students split the cost. How much does each student owe? So 13 divided by 4, again, I would say $3. If they each pay $3, $3, $3, $3, and $3, that's $12. So we still owe one more dollar. And that one dollar that is still owed divided between the four kids, one-fourth of a dollar would be 25 cents. So $3 is not enough, but if everyone pays $3.25, that would equal the $13 present. Letter C works out evenly, and the fact that we there are there is no remainder means the problem could really be about anything. Um, let's see. Miles has sixteen blocks. He makes four towers. How many blocks are in each tower? 16 divided by 4 is 4. Um, I think the next question would be, how long will the tower last before it gets knocked over? <laughs> okay, number 7. LaToya had a large collection of basketball cards. She decided to give half of them to her friend Aaron, a fourth of them to her brother. She still has 75 cards left. How many cards did she start with? I had to read this question quite a few times, and I think the best way to answer it is to draw a picture to help. So I know, I can imagine like a big stack of cards that she started with and it says that she's giving half of them to her friend Aaron okay so this amount is going to Aaron okay because that's half of my picture and a fourth of them she's giving to her brother a fourth of the picture okay so here's a half of my picture here's a fourth of my picture and then here's one-fourth of the picture. And that's what she still has left. And right in the problem, it says that that is 75. I'm hoping just seeing this picture makes this question a bit more manageable. So I'm imagining all of the cards that she has or that she started with. So this whole picture are the cards that she started with. Then she cut it in half. Half of them went to Aaron. A quarter of them went to her brother, and that means she had a quarter left for herself, and that's 75. But the question is, how many cards did she start with? If one-fourth is 75, and that's what she has, well, if one-fourth is 75, and the brother also has one-fourth, that means the brother has 75 cards as well. And notice that that's half of the picture, okay? So 75 plus 75, that's half of my picture. 75 plus 75 is 150. If one half is 150, then that means this half must be 150 as well. So I used the information that they gave me. I knew that she still had a quarter left, and a quarter of what she started with was 75. So the other quarter that the brother got would be 75 cards meaning the other half must be 150 because 75 plus 75 is 150. So if you see, here's half of the picture, right? And that's 150. So obviously the other half of the picture must be 150 as well. Okay, so I thought a picture really helped. How many cards did she start with? Well, if I put everything together, 150 plus 150, or if I just look at the entire picture, 75 plus 75 plus 150, that means... 
she started with a total of 300 cards. 300 cards, half of them go to Erin, that's 150. And then the other ones go to, um, uh, the quarter, a quarter of them go to her brother, a quarter of them is what she had left. Um, I think the picture is very helpful. So if you would please check your answers. Here's page 51. page 52. And remember, your story problems can totally be different than mine. Okay, mathematicians, I will see you in class.